Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is adjective phrase 16. The adjective phrase today is dog eat dog. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if something is dog eat dog, uh, it means that it is a ruthless competition. So some competition could be sports competition, could be business competition, could be competition in politics, but it's usually some sort of competition. Uh, between, uh, you know, individuals or groups of people. Uh, we mean that someone is willing to do almost anything to succeed, even if it hurts or harms others. Okay. Uh, the phrase uh, alludes to the idea that the fierce struggle and competition between people could turn them into animals. So people could, may start acting like animals. So that's what the idea of dog-eat-dog. Uh, when we say that it's a dog-eat-dog world, a lot of times we use world with dog-eat-dog, but it could use other nouns too. Uh, it suggests that the idea, uh, it's just the idea that either you eat others or you get eaten. So it's like you have no choice. If, even if you don't want to, if you don't eat them, they're going to eat you. So it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world or dog-eat-dog -dog situation. Um, okay, eat others, you get eaten. Relating to Darwin's idea of survival of the fittest. So that's kind of where the idea of this phrase comes from. All right, let's look at uh, a couple of examples we have here. Uh, example uh, number one, somebody might say, are you sure you really want to go into politics? Maybe this is a young person. They say they want to get into politics. And maybe this is a person that knows a lot about people that are in politics. Uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in Washington. Many people in politics play dirty uh, in order to survive. Uh, and you may find yourself in the same position. So if you go there, you, you they'll... Either you may become corrupted, or maybe you'll just not succeed. Uh, that's what they mean by that. All right, uh, number two. Number two has both an A and a B part. Uh, uh, it's hard to believe that the Olympic skater Tanya Harding, uh, yeah, this is all the way back in 1994. Tanya, this was a famous story, made all the main news. That Tanya Harding had her ex-husband hire an attacker uh, to hit the other American skater Nancy Kerrigan in the leg. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it was ever officially established that that Tanya Harding, you know, was involved in it. Because if she was involved in it, really she should have been disqualified. And she did go on to the Olympics. But I do remember that she had to appear in court about this. Uh, and yeah, they hit Nancy Kerrigan in the leg. I don't know. Uh, so she could be more in the spotlight. Um, I don't know, maybe um, Tanya Harding wanted to be the only main Olympian, or maybe she thought Nancy Kerrigan was her competition. If, if she was number one, maybe she could make more money, get more sponsors or whatever, but she was willing to go this far, or you know, she might have been involved in this. So, uh, all right, let's continue. They were both, uh, yeah, so here they go on to say they were both American. You would think they should be like, cheering for each other or rooting for each other that you know they would want each other to do well you know it should be for the country sort of idea and then of course b says well what can you say it's a dog eat dog competition or it's a dog eat dog world uh, that's the way they would probably refer to something like that anyway i hope you got it i hope it's clear thank you for your time bye bye